Well, hello there, my little friends. It's me, Timmy Bowties. It sure is a bow beautiful day. <laughs> Do you get it? Because I'm wearing a bow tie. Hey, do you hear that? Sounds like a bee. Do you see a bee anywhere? It's right there. Where? I don't see a bee. It's over there. Are you tricking me? There's no bee over there. Well, I guess I'll have to find it later. Maisie's flag just went up. Do you know what that means? Maisie has a message. That's right. Let's see what it is. Thanks, Maisie. Whoa. Listen to this. It says, God hears me when I talk to him. That's our big idea for today. Can you say that with me? God hears me when I talk to him. Great job. Hey, there goes that bee. Let's follow her. Hmm, where did she go now? Timmy, there's a bee in my tree trunk. Hey, there she is. We found her, kids. What? You're looking for her? Timmy, you should be running away from her. Why? She's just a cute little bee. Yeah, but she's a cute little bee with a stinger. Topher, you don't need to be afraid of bees. They're like little gardeners. They help plants and flowers grow big and strong. Besides, if you leave her alone, she won't sting you. I don't know about that, Timmy. I'm still scared. Can we go inside, please? Of course we can, Topher. And you know what? While we're in there, we can read a Bible story. In fact, I think I know the perfect one. Oh, good. Let's go. But the bee stays outside. Got it? You got it, Topher. Come on, kids. Let's go to Topher's house. Come on, everybody. It's time to learn and play. Let's all go to Topher's house today. Hey, everybody. We made it. Now, where did I put my Bible? I remember. You always keep it in the super duper building blocks. Hi, Max. I think you mean the super duper Bible box. Oh, yeah. I got mixed up. Can I read the story with you? I like to draw pictures while I listen. Of course you can, Max. To open the Bible box, we have to say, it's true, it's true, the Bible is true. Let's say that together. It's, it's true. true, it's, it's true. true, the, the Bible, Bible is true. true. Great job. In the Bible, in the book of 1 Samuel, the people of Israel made a very bad choice. They began loving idols instead of loving God. An idol is like a small stone statue. Instead of praying to God, the people would pray to these statues. But statues can't hear prayers and they couldn't do anything to help the people of Israel. After a while, the people of Israel realized that what they were doing was wrong 
and they wanted to turn back to loving God. So they threw away their idols and they gathered together to pray and tell God they were sorry. The people of Israel had an enemy named the Philistines. When the Philistine bad guys heard that the people of Israel were all gathered in one place, they came up to attack them with swords. When the people of Israel saw that the bad guys were coming, they were very afraid. The people of Israel had a leader who loved God very much. His name was Samuel. The people said to Samuel, Keep praying to God that he'll save us from the Philistines. Don't stop praying until he helps us. So that's what Samuel did. He prayed and prayed that God would save the people of Israel from the Philistine bad guys. God heard Samuel's prayer. And as the Philistine bad guys came close to attack, God sent a terrible storm to stop them. In the middle of the storm, God's voice boomed like thunder. The Philistine bad guys thought they were tough, but they were no match for the power of God. Suddenly, the big bad Philistines turned into scaredy cats and began to shake with fear. When the people of Israel saw how scared the Philistine bad guys were, they chased them away as fast as they could. For as long as Samuel lived, the Philistine bad guys never attacked the people of Israel again. And that is today's true Bible story. It's true! It's true! The Bible is true! God gave it to me and he gave it to you. Doodly doodly do. It says he gave his son to everyone. Doodly doodly do. It's true! It's true! The Bible is true! Wasn't that such a wonderful story? Yeah! It was so good, I want to hear it again! Well, maybe I could show you the pictures I drew and tell the story back to you. That's a great idea, Max. Kids, if Max gets mixed up and says the wrong thing, we can all say, you're mixed up, Max. Then we can tell Max what really happened in the story. Okay, I'll give it a try. Here's my first picture. In the Bible, the people of Israel made a very bad choice. They began loving chicken nuggets instead of loving God. You're mixed up, Max. Kids, let's help Max out. What did they begin loving? They loved and worshipped idols. Those are like small statues. Oh, yeah. I got mixed up. One day, the people of Israel got together to tell God sorry. When the Philistine army came to attack them, the people were very happy. You're mixed, mixed up, up, Max. Kids, how did the people really feel? The people were very afraid. Oh yeah, I got mixed up. I have one more picture. When Samuel prayed for God's help, God sent a T-Rex to stop the Philistine army. You're mixed up, Max. Kids, what did God really send? He sent a terrible storm that scared the army away. Oh yeah, I got mixed up. That's okay, Max. With your help, we did it. We remembered the whole Bible story. I have a question. 
How could God hear Samuel pray if he's so far away? Well, God isn't far away. Even though we can't see him, he's right here with us all the time. God can hear everything we say to him. Does God hear us if we feel confused? I'm uh, asking for a friend. He sure does, Max. Can God hear us when we feel scared of a bee? Of course he can. God hears us no matter how we feel. Happy, sad, scared, or mad. God always hears our prayers. In fact, that makes me think of a question for the kids. What's something that makes you feel scared? What could you tell God when you feel that way? Turn to your leaders or parents. And discuss. See you later, squids. Um, Max, I think you mean kids. Thank you.